In this video, I will show you how to have MemoQ treat the proper nouns as placeables. By this, what I mean is in a sentence like this one, I would like to have Manchester United, Jose Mourinho, Paul Pogba and Zlatan Ibrahimovic recognized as entities I can easily insert into the target segment. But before going to MemoQ, let's have a look at the way WordFast would behave with such a sentence. So in WordFast, by default, out of the box, without the user having to do anything, if I start typing M, the auto-suggest feature of WordFast will offer everything that starts with an M, starting with Manchester United, also Mourinho, or just Manchester. So I can easily insert the selected piece of text by pressing Enter. Likewise, if I start typing J, I can insert José Mourinho, or P, Paul Pogba, and Z, Zlatan. So every time I have two consecutive words that are capitalized, I'm able to insert them into the target segment. And the second sentence, if I start typing D, I will get Diego Costa, that's expected. But if I start typing C, I will get all single words that start with a C, so I can pick up Chelsea. And if I type W, I will get West Ham United. So in addition to two consecutive words that are capitalized, WordFast will also automatically recognize single capitalized words and three consecutive capitalized words. Now let's switch to MemoQ. In MemoQ, if I start typing M, well, nothing that happens. MA, same. If I type J or JO, nothing happens. So by default, out of the box, if the user does nothing, nothing happens. Not so good, right? Well, it's possible to have MemoQ behave the same way as WordFast, and this is what I'm going to show you now. So I'll click on Project Home, I'll go to Settings, I'll go to Auto Translation Rules, and here I will create a new rule. So Create Edit New. I will call my rule WordFast Style Placeables in order to give credit to WordFast, but obviously you can call it whatever you want. I will edit this rule. And here I need to include a description of the entities I want to match, and they need to be in the regular expression format, so regex. I'm going to cheat. I have the string here. I will just uh, copy it and paste it here and add it. Now in the second field, I'll include $0, and $0 means keep it the same in regex. So I'll add that too, and I'll click on OK. Now my rule is active, so I can go back to my document. And now I can see that Manchester United, Jose Mourinho, Paul Pogba and Zlatan Ibrahimovic were highlighted and they also appear in the translation results pane, so I can insert them as usual with Ctrl-1, Ctrl-2, Ctrl-3 and so on. Or if I start typing M, I'll get Manchester United. So that's the predictive typing, the equivalent of auto-suggest. I can just press Enter. And if I start typing J, I will get Jose Mourinho, and P, I will get Paul Pogba, and so on. Now in the second segment, I can also get Diego Costa. And with C, I'll get Chelsea. With P, Premier League. And with W, I will get West Ham United. So it also works with single capitalized words and three consecutive capitalized words. So there you have it, how to create an auto-translation rule in MemoQ that will identify single capitalized words as well as two or three consecutive capitalized words. I have made a second video in which I provide more information about this auto-translation rule and how to tweak it to accommodate other needs, for instance, German as source language. Thank you for watching. Do subscribe to my channel for more similar content aimed at translators. Also hit the like button if you found this video useful. Use comments below this video if you have any questions or feedback. And see you in the next one.